Hi guys, it's Joanne Sembrook with Shabby Cottage. I hope you're doing well this morning. As you can see, I am in my house painting and I've got my peanut gallery over there watching and sorry for uh, my recycling boxes there, but this is kind of real life. I received a box last night of the repurposed stains and I am in love. Um, if you've been paying attention, I've been doing a few pieces in the shop with the stains and I've been using primarily the um, brown stain over top. Actually, I did use the, uh, the galvanized as well over the flannel gray and loved how it turned out. So I went ahead and ordered some white stain and oh, I love this feel. So I just had to share it with you while I was doing it and I just wanted to show you how easy these are to apply. So this table up until last night was black and this table gets used a lot. It's right by my front door so it's kind of where we dump all of our keys and, and everything as we come in. Um, I have a little lamp that I keep on it so that if somebody comes in late they've got some light. Um, but it just needed a makeover. It's not a particularly well built piece. I mean it's okay but it's honestly it's a home goods piece. So I wanted to give it um, kind of a, a revamp. So I painted it in Stone Age, which is a really, really nice uh, grayish, kind of gray, kind of beige with some green undertones to it, because this is the color that we're thinking of painting um, my daughter's nursery, well, my, my grandchild, so my daughter's nursery in her house. We're, we're thinking of painting his dresser this color and putting a stain over top. So this is what it looks like when it's done, which I just love. And obviously I've done some distressing with some sandpaper there. Um, actually, I'm sorry, steel wool, just to bring the, the black through because I wanted that to show through because I really like the grungy look for this table. So what I'm doing with the stain is I've put it, I've taken it out of the, the jar and I put it into a paper bowl here. Um, you can use a brush, you can use just a rag, or you can use a foam um, brush. It's up to you. I prefer just a regular brush because I feel as if I have more control over it. So that's what I do. So all I'm doing is I'm, after I've painted and I've distressed, I'm just bringing the stain on and I'm just going to put it on. and let it kind of soak in and get all the little nooks and crannies filled. Almost like I'm just painting another layer on top of it. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the phone here so you can see while I'm doing this. And I'm just gonna let it go all over, filling every spot. And do I normally paint by my front door? No but I was too lazy to take this downstairs to my workshop to do it. Besides, it's gonna go right back into position um, once I'm done. Oh, let's see, here it is. So I'm just gonna to continue to spread it all over. I don't have to be exact about this because I just really want this to kind of seep in. Um, I, it's not going over top of it uh, uh, to be perfect, it is um, just meant to go in and, and kind of seep in where I want it to. So then I'm coming back with my rag and I'm wiping. The beauty of this too is you can wipe away as much or as little as you want to. Um, in this particular case, I am letting it kind of go in there pretty heavy just because I want it to have like a really weathered look to it. It's going to have pretty much a a beachy look, I guess. And then I can just come back. I always try to make sure that I don't have any brush strokes showing. So I come back and, and just kind of clean it up a little bit. And you can kind of see there, that's actually a better angle of how this goes in. It is wonderful. And I think this is exactly what we're gonna be looking for for a baby Jackson's um, new dresser in this bedroom. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions about the repurposed products, please feel free to shoot me a message on Facebook 
and I am more than happy to answer your questions. Um, th with this one, actually because it's a tabletop, I am going to go ahead and um, add a coat of poly over top of it because like I said, this is right by the front door and it gets hit pretty heavily. Um, now the other thing, just as a side note, I did not go over this entire piece with the steel wool to um, give it that buttery finish because what I have found is if I do that, the stain doesn't adhere and, and get in as well and I really wanted to, to seep in there. Now I will come back over it um, once it dries and put um, the uh, uh, with the steel wool and then put the poly on top of it. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day and come on in, get your repurposed products. Shabby Lux.